you beautiful so today i wanted to do something really fun for halloween because i want to decorate the room i seen it on pinterest i seen it on instagram i seen it on youtube i seen it on facebook i seen it everywhere so i was like you know what i want to try i want to do it so we're going to be doing this together and let's see how it turns out okay so for this project i got four mason jars you can find them at the dollar store but they are a lot cheaper if you get them in a bundle at walmart found that out the hard way and spray paint i got black white purple orange and yellow and then i got some glow sticks got two packs for a dollar at the dollar store so let's get started with this i'm pretty excited because I just really want to like spice up the beauty room, make it look nice. So if you guys would like to see this video, continue watching. Okay, so I laid out some cardboard and I just placed the spray paint bottles right there and I have the four mason jars. Going in with the first mason jar, I will be coating this with purple, going in very light. I don't want to add too much spray paint to it because I want it to be light and not too dark just where you can see kind of the glass still peeking through i don't know why but i really like that especially because my decorations are going to be purple so now going in with the white this one i will layer pretty intense because i really need the other colors to really pop so layering this white spray paint all over the jars making sure that it's an even coat all around so they should look like this see where the purple looks like the glass is still peeking through. Okay, so now going in with the wine bottle. This is gonna be the witch's brew bottle. So using the white spray paint, I'm just gonna spray the whole bottle. And I did a little rewind effect right here, like hello. Okay, so back to spraying it. Spray the whole bottle. I even get up because my fat ass was sitting down, being lazy, my back hurts. Anyways, so get up, spraying the whole entire bottle making sure that I get a really good coat of the white because again, it's gonna be like the white base make the other colors pop. So yeah, on the side, I'm gonna do the orange one. Totally forgot about the orange one. Like, come on, it's Halloween, pumpkins, come on. And here are my candy cane mason jars. They're so freaking cute. I freaking love them. I'll show you guys how I do it in a minute. But okay, now onto the wine bottle. Going with the purple. You see how like the purple pops more on top of the white? It's just so freaking beautiful. So doing the bottom and now we're gonna do the top and we're gonna leave a layer of white because we're gonna write witch's brew. Eh, eh. So this is how it looks. I think I did pretty freaking good. I'm pretty excited, like doot doot. Okay, now going in with the candy corn and mason jars. I'm gonna spray the yellow, making sure that I just try to get the bottom. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's really easy to clean up. Like with the orange, look, I totally messed up. But it's okay, just go back in with the yellow, fix it, and then it's good, it's good. See, I wanted to use tape, but I feel like just spraying it yourself, you feel more artiste, and sometimes things are not cute when they're perfect, you know, like with tape. So that's why I didn't use tape. Other people um, do, but I didn't. I think it looked nice like this. So again, the or yellow, and then orange, and just spraying it on there. I was trying to be very careful right here, but I still covered the freaking yellow. It's okay. I go back in and I fix it again, you see? So this was really fun. I really liked it. And I think they look so freaking cute. Ta-da-da-da. There they are. Ugh, I didn't want to crack them. Okay, so I spray painted all of the mason jars. I got some on my hands. It's like, how old are you, girl? But this is something that I wanted to do. This is the glow sticks. So you're supposed to pop them in here, like open them, and then the jar is supposed to like be glowy all day. And I have kids, so whatever can entertain them, I'm cool with. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I don't know if I have to like cut. Let me see, like if I just cut it, that would make more sense because how am I gonna break them when I get it in there? So breaking them up. So it's a freaking pain to cut them. But once you cut them, the liquid just starts coming out slowly. I'm like getting impatient and like getting all crazy. But um, I just cut them and I'm just letting it kind of come out on its own. But you can tell like the jar is like getting lit. So that's pretty cool. And then they say to add some uh, glitter. I'm going to add it at the end. I'm going to turn off all the lights and we're going to see if it glows. 
this is freaking awesome it's already glowing so let me get under the covers <gasps> that is awesome look at that you guys that is so cool so if you want to put it up like at night for the kids you know get to see but this is way freaking cool you want to see Eli get underneath here Whoa. Get underneath the covers. <laughs> it's awesome, huh? How do you make it? Boom, 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 boom. A little magic, little magic. That is awesome. Hey. I really like it. It's cool, huh? That looks like <clears throat> That looks really cool. I like it. So, like decoration for like nighttime and stuff. If you want to like, you know, do a couple more mason jars. Two dollars for your kids to be entertained, a dollar mason jar, and a dollar for the glow sticks, and you get eight, and all you need is three. Pretty freaking cool. So what you do, you cut the tips, and then you just go like this, and then you'll see it splatter out. The kids are going to have so much fun. Maybe at night and stuff, you know, story time, something cool. So what you do is just put the lid on top. You can already see that it's already glowing a little bit. So let's go see how it looks under the covers in the dark. I turned off all the lights and you, it still wasn't dark enough because it's still bright out. So let's just go under the covers. So as you can see, it's already glowing. <laughs> glowing. This is awesome. So yeah, just something cool for your babies to have at night. Glow in the dark. Hope you guys liked it. Okay, that was fun. So now moving on to our wine bottle. It's now dry, so I can write on it. I will be writing Witch's Brew. Da da da! Look how nice that looks, you guys. I love it. I added it right here on our fireplace, on top of our fireplace, and I think it looks really nice. See, I love it. What do you guys think? Huh? I like it. And with the candy corn, I put straws for the kids, put it on top of the table. That that was really nice. And then the two other ones that I have, I put for my makeup brushes to look really cute with the beauty room. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to keep updated with my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Te quiero mucho. Bye.